the channel. So today I have finally completed it. I have completed Inktober and I'm so excited to show you guys my new Inktober completed sketchbook. So we're going to go through that because I haven't shown any of the drawings on this channel yet except the first one which was Inktober day one. So let's go through this and we're going to have a little bit of an Inktober tour and I'm going to show you all of my drawings. So here we have my Inktober book and as you can see I've decorated it a little bit with some washi tape. I thought that that was a little bit fitting for Inktober. So here's the first one. The prompt was ring and you guys probably seen this because I drew this in a video but uh, yeah I did a Klefki because it's a key ring Pokemon. So the next one is mindless. I decided to draw a Psyduck because he is a derpy little character and uh, yeah, he could be a little bit mindless so I, I decide to do him. Now we have bait. This one's a little bit darker obviously as you can see there is a Wurmple on a hook and he is the bait for a fish Pokemon which in this case is Magikarp so yeah, Worm, Fish, Bait. Now this one was Freeze and I decided to do a Glaceon doing like a sort of ice beam type attack. I really like this one because I like the look of the light beams coming from uh, obviously the attack and it looks really cool. So the next one was Build and I decided to, and I decided to go with the Builder Pokemon. Uh, yeah, I thought this was really cute. I thought it fit because the Timber sort of carries around this thing of wood. And uh, yeah, I thought, you know what, let's do some little bricks in the background, so he's a little builder. So next one was Husky, so I decided to just pick the Pokemon that was as similar to a Husky as I could, and uh, that was my Deanna, so there we go. So the next one here is a full double page illustration. I have a few of these in this book because I just wanted to add a little bit more variety. So this one was was Enchanted, so I decided to go with the episode in Diamond and Pearl where Cheryl was uh, trying to find this enchanted honey and she got a Mothim to help her find the uh, the honey through the scent and then yeah, it's a Vespiquin and at the end of the episode Vespiquin gave her the enchanted honey so that's why I decided to draw that. I think this one's a really cute one. So this one was Frail and I decided to do the most very frail but very strong Pokemon, Shedinja. Shedinja actually has like one HP and if you hit it once it will faint but it's also very powerful and strong so that was an interesting one. So this one was Swing and I decided to do a few different monkey Pokemon swinging from the trees. So we have a Chimcha, uh, Mankey, Apom, and Grookey, and uh, I'm not very happy with how Chimchar's face sort of turned out, but I still like it, and I like the sort of different shadows and stuff in this. It really feels like it's in a, like a dark forest kind of thing. So this one was Patton, and I decided to draw Vivillian or Vivian. I'm not how you pronounce that. But this Pokemon has so many different patterns uh, depending on where you are in the world. Uh, you will get a different pattern for your sort of country. And I really like this Pokemon so I just wanted to draw that for pattern. So this is one of my favourite ones. It is Snow and I decided to go with a Bomber Snow. And I really love the sort of like greys that I used in this and the sort of, I don't know, the, the shadows and highlights look pretty cool. So this one is dragon and I decided to go with a dragon type so I ended up going with this guy and I really like how he is like a solid black Pokemon and uh, yeah he's a cool legendary so I decided to go with him for Inktober because I thought it was a bit fitting. Now the prompt for this was Ash and I decided to well draw Ash because I, I like the character. Um, a lot of people don't like him, but I find he is really good and really nice to all of his Pokemon. And yeah, so I decided to draw him with Pikachu and it's a really cute one. So this is another full page illustration here. And uh, I decided to go with a lot of plants, but they look like plants, but they're actually all 
Pokemon, as you can tell, and the prompt for this was overgrown, so I thought it was pretty, you know, pretty smart. <laughs> so this one, I'm not overly happily, I'm not overly happy with this one, but it is the prompt legend, so I decided to draw the legendary birds. And it's an interesting one, but I wish I had a bit more time to do this one. I probably could have done it better. But moving on. I really like this one. The prompt was wild, so I decided to draw a wild encounter from like one of the oldest Pokemon games. And I really like how I sort of translated the pixel art style into this soft, bold line art sort of cartoony style. I find it pretty satisfying. It's probably one of my favorite ones. So this one is ornament so I decided to you know go a little bit Christmassy with this one because all I could think of was Christmas ornaments so we have Christmas tree branches and uh, Chris Pokemon -y Christmas ornaments all over those so I thought that was pretty smart now this one is misfit now can you spot the misfit in these guys it's him! He's a ditto! I thought it was really cute and I love Score Bunny and I'm really excited for Sword and Shield so that's why I decided to do that. So this was a really cool one. The prompt was sling so I decided to do a slingshot and a cheeky manky with the slingshot. I actually really like this one because I don't know I just really like the style and I think it looks pretty cool. So this one was tread. Now I decided to do tread because Stunfisk here, this Pokemon, has really strong skin and won't get hurt even if it is stepped on by a person. So I decided to do him as, you know, he's getting treaded on, but he is an electric type. So also a thing with him is he always smiles when he zaps people with electricity. So that's why he's smiling there because this unfortunate person must have accidentally tread on him and now he's getting a bit of a shock. So this one I really like, the prompt was treasure, so I decided to do a sort of underwater scene here and as you can see there's treasure and we have some Pokemon here in the water and yeah, there's a little Corsola and like Melodic and yeah, it's really cute and I love the little Pokeball in there too. So this one was ghost and I really like this one because I just wanted to sort of draw Haunter in like a really cheeky sort of pose. And I love the bright tongue and the bright eyes. I think it's just pretty, you know, satisfying to look at. So this one is, uh, the prompt was ancient. So I decided to do uh, sort of that ancient Mew card. But obviously I drew it in a sort of inky style. I really like the, the look of it and I think it looks pretty cool. Okay, so this one I decided to go with a lot of Spinder here because Spinder is a dizzy Pokemon and uh, the prompt was dizzy so that's why I decided to do that as a full page illustration. I actually really like it. And this one was tasty so I decided to draw this hilarious ice cream Pokemon. I love this Pokemon so much, Vanillix. Now for this one the prompt was dark so I obviously had to draw a dark type Pokemon and what better Pokemon than Murkrow. I love Murkrow. So this one the prompt was coat so I decided to draw Furfrow in his majestic coat and I really love the gel pen highlights and just the overall shading of this I think it's pretty good. So this one I decided to go for Ride, uh, the Ride Pokemon Arcanine because the prompt was Ride and I decided to draw the uh, Pokemon as you can see in Pokemon Let's Go because uh, yeah this Pokemon you can ride around on his back and it's just so cool so I decided to go with that. So now this one is the prompt was injured so I decided to draw an injured little Sobble here crying and Nurse Joy tending to his wounds. I thought it was really cute and kind of sad, but you just want to protect him, don't you? So for this one, I decided to go with Catch. Uh, obviously the prompt was Catch, so I decided to go with a Pokeball capturing uh, a little um, Caterpie here. And I really like this because I love the way the Pokeball turned out with all those highlights and the little glowy part inside the Pokeball. And yeah, I thought it was pretty cute. So this last one here, we actually have uh, 
ripe. So I decided to draw a bunch of uh, Pokemon, Pikachu, Pichu and Raichu, uh, enjoying some ripe berries. Now this one's an interesting one because I actually drew it with a dip pen because all the other sort of ones I didn't use the dip pen and I really wanted to sort of use that dip pen. So I ended up going with that and I really like the sort of scratchy, sketchy sort of look that the dip pen has and yeah, it was pretty fun to do. So that is it for all of my Inktober pieces. This was really fun to do and I love just all the different artworks in here. Some, some I love a little bit less than others, but you know what? It was definitely an experience and I finally finished Inktober and I'm kind of glad to get, you know, get it over and done with. But yeah, it was a pretty good experience. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please hit like and subscribe. And if you haven't already, check out my other Inktober video where I drew this one. I did that at the start of this month. And yeah, thank you guys so much. I hope to see you in my next video. And yeah, bye everyone.